let's say you want to automate some uh, stuff on your ERP instance such that maybe when you take an action from one a place uh, that triggers other actions to take place automatically in other sections of your ERP next or even calling other systems outside of ERP next like maybe using an API now there are things that ERP next cause uh, hooks and uh, this is what I want to show you today now here we have a number of uh, hooks uh, uh, methods that we can tap into and this is found on the official documentation and the controllers, uh, controllers uh, sub menu here on the left. So here we have something like before submit, we have something like before cancel, and all, so many of them you, you can just look at them for yourself on change, on trash, and all these things. So what happens, for instance, uh, let's say you want uh, to save a patient. Every time you save a patient here, I've opened my ERP instance. Let's say I want every time I create a new patient here, uh, I want maybe to populate another doc type. Or maybe I want every time I create a patient, I want to send an SMS to this patient. Or I want to send an email. Or maybe I want to update another doc type. How do we do this? Now, uh, the, what we are going to do, we are going to be using doc types and I mean not doc types but uh, hooks. So if you look at your ERP instance, uh, here I have ERP, my ERP instance is here. You'll see a file called hooks.py, the file that I am pointing here. Let's open it. And you are going to be looking in, uh, at a function that they are calling doc events. All right. Let me just add font size here for, your, for the sake of your eyes. So here I have doc events and there are so many things already in that doc, that, 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 that this section. So if you see an asterisk here, this means everything in programming, most of the languages. So when you see something like user, something like stock entry, this is the doc type. So we are telling this thing after, this is after insert. So when we insert a new user, after you have just inserted that user, then call this other function, all right? So when, what this means is when we have an asterisk there, it tells the system that on submit of any doc type, call this function. Then on update, call this function. On cancel, call this function. Any doc type within your pnext with that asterisk there. So remember we are talking about our, our patient doc type. And so how do we do that? Let's come down to the end. And of course, you need to confirm first if you are editing something, you are adding your own hook here. You need to confirm whether already that doc type is, is, is being used so that you can just add your files. Uh, you can just add your files there. But looking at this, uh, patient doc type is not here. So I can just go ahead and add my patient doc type. This needs to be quoted. Patient doc type. And after you have done that, the next thing that you are going to be doing on your hook is you are going to be adding the path to the file uh that you are calling but before the path you need to tell uh, this hook when should i call this file so we need to have here uh the when and then we need to tell it the file and the function actually is the function that it should call all right because in this function is where you, you are going to be putting your logic so let me say for instance i want to call this on validate okay so uh, validate that i'll call validate and then i'll give you the path to the file that i want to call when this document is validated successfully so uh which file am i going to call now most of the time i like to put these things on uh on my own file so we can go straight to our healthcare because patient of course is in the healthcare module and then you go down to doc type and then you look for patient here. Uh, it is, here is our patient doc type. Uh, we can add our own file here. Maybe we can call it whatever. Let me create, just create a file and call it, uh, call it what? Something like events.py. You can call this file whatever you want to call it. I am saving this there. Okay, so I have my file called events.py. So the first thing we are going to be, to be doing here is to import Frappe of course and then after you have imported frappe now here you're going to define your function okay let me call this function what let me say for instance i want to 
let me do something like send sms of course i'm not going to be sending sms's but uh you get the idea uh, this is what i'm going to be calling so again call this function whatever you want to call it all right so then what do i want to do here for now let me just print something on the terminal and i can just uh, do that so that we see where the thing is printing and then i do that um by the way this function takes in two parameters it takes the name of the document that you are calling and then the event that you are running okay so the document and the event because when you have these two things here they will be passed from from your hook and you can access them from here and basically do whatever you want to do with them all right so for uh, let me let me let me print the doc here and then comma maybe and then also i want to print the event that has it has has ran and because this is a formatted string don't forget to do that okay and that's it so what we need to do here uh, look, look at this file again this is this is this is this is my function you can call this whatever you want this is the doc uh, and this is the event this function must take in these two parameters and then for now i just want us to print something on our terminal and i want to print uh, uh, this thing to print the doc type that we have called and the event that we have ran all right so when we come back here we have validate and then we give it the path to our file okay so this takes in the the app mine is uh, erp next you can you can see this from here okay apps erp next is my app and then from there the next thing we are going to be running is the module so we give it a module our module is healthcare healthcare dot from healthcare we are going to give it doc type doc type i'm getting that from here and then our doc type name is patient so dot patient note again that i'm just giving it the path to our file the file that we created here so and then we have events and the function that we are calling here is the send sms function okay send sms and that is it let me just allow it to save that's it so let's let's try now and save a patient and see whether we are going to print anything on the terminal okay and by the way here we can also do something like uh uh but let, let me do that after first of all i have seen whether it is working so uh, let me restart my server here quickly server is running i come here refresh just to make sure to confirm that the server is running uh it's still accessing it there i think the server is still restarting uh yeah here we go so let me add a new patient this is uh, let me say this is a test uh, test patient and the gender is female okay and then i save saving and all right that that is that patient already exists whatever let's just go to the to the terminal and see that here we have this thing has printed out that okay so here we have our doc type you can see that it is calling the doc type uh, uh i mean the patient doc type and we have the validate function so that's that that's beautiful okay so let's let me just reload here so yeah we had a patient there so let me just do this is test uh, test two okay test two and this one is male save and yes that is a success and when we come back to our terminal is it this one i think it's this one so you get the idea so what if now we came we came to our 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 app here and maybe just drew a message like frappe dot throw something like frappe dot throw this is dot dot throw and then we throw something like uh function reached okay save it function reached frappe dot throw yeah let me restart my server let me actually clear clean it and then restart it then i come here and reload it to make sure it is running we are waiting for this to reload so basically guys as this thing reloads uh what we have just done here is we have created a hook here we have given it the function that we want to run remember this function is a method this is a method that was already created so you are calling methods that are found here you can call any of these methods 
if you want to do something before you submit maybe after inserting uh all this you can do whatever you want then the next thing is to give it the path to our file and our function and then when we we just create that function somewhere and we call it and that's it so in this here in here you can do everything this is you are going to write your write your logic you can call another doc type and update it you can call another doc type and insert something new you can send an email here you can send an sms basically you can do anything inside this file so let's try to save another patient here and see whether we get that message so uh patient and uh, this is mail okay and go the name of the patient cannot be patient <laughs> okay okay i get it so uh, let me see this is uh this is um julius julius something like that save it function reached you see this one is printing function reached function reached is what we give here okay so thank you so much guys for watching let me know whether you have any questions in the comment section below i'll be sure to to respond to you thank you and bye